Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here with Academia School Simulator. And it looks like we're doing reasonably well. Um, we've actually moved on a, a day, more than a day or so, but done a fair amount in that day, off camera as it were. Um, I do appear to now actually be in profit, which is quite good for a school. I, as I think I probably said in, in an early episode, I don't believe schools should be profitable. No, that's that's not what they're there for. <laughs> but, so what I've done, um, we have completed the computational power um, research, um, or the grant rather. So I've researched experimentation and built the computer lab. And as you can see, I put quite a few computers in there, which, um, yeah, there's an issue with that. We'll come to that in a moment. I currently don't have a grant on yet, but when I did take up while you were away was to add another five seniors to my role so that there was a grant for that of about a thousand or so but most, mostly that was prestige so i've increased my prestige by taking in more students now one thing that has meant um is that that doesn't help me here uh, what am i looking for reports i think it is isn't it yep here we are classrooms is I did, I did have to increase the capacity of my staff rooms, uh, so the, the classrooms, not the staff rooms. Uh, the staff room might actually need increasing. In, that's a different matter entirely. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, the classroom for the seniors, classroom four, has gone up from um, twelve seats. Sorry, yeah, twelve seats to six to, to eighteen to accommodate the extra five pupils. So I've now got sixteen seniors, and I think. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Let's, let's pause here a second. Um, we've gone into debt. And I'm, I'm not sure why. Um, yes, we were 40. Hmm, okay. Um, maybe something has increased in cost during the day. Not quite sure why. But, okay, right. <laughs> so, yeah, need to keep an eye on. It's not much. It's only $73 a day um, in loss. Uh, and I've currently got just over six. So that's fine. No, I was looking at the, the grants. So uh, we completed the uh, except senior transfers. Yes, yeah, so I've got a grand for that. Um, and an extra five in prestige. So I've got five senior students. Um, why did I do seniors? Because... Uh, go, go here. <laughs> The seniors get me most money. You get more money the older the student is. So I think uh, what will hopefully deal with that $73 a day loss is adding more juniors to the school as well. So I'll bring those in. Now the other thing I want to do is uh, continue obviously building facilities uh, for my school to increase the range of subjects we're, we're talking about. But one thing I discovered when I was looking at this before I started the recording was the costs. Because uh, as you can see, we, we were in the last episode actually running quite close to, to loss making. And then I started making money as we saw at the beginning of this episode. And now we're making a loss again. Um, things do have a cost. So it's quite important when you build stuff to be aware that there is a daily cost to it. Um, so for example, if I go to... Um, actually, if we go to the computer lab, which I've just finished. Yeah, so things like chairs and chalkboards and tables and so on um, don't have a daily cost. However, things like computers do. So by putting in 16 computers here, that's costing me a lot. <laughs> What's 16 times 50? Uh, that's 525 or something, possibly along those lines. I don't know. Um, my, my mental arithmetic is, is um, poor now. You know, I've kind of lost the habit. Um, yes, so when I'm building rooms, it's probably a nice idea to build rooms where there's no significant additional daily costs. And one reason I was looking at the science lab was, well, apart from the hand sanitizers, that's just 13, so we might want one hand sanitizer. The big kit, surprisingly, and I'm happy about this, is the microscope. Although it costs 200 to place each one, none of the other items in the science lab have a daily cost. So that's all really well and good. And the bonus of doing the science lab, um, where is it? Uh, scientific method, is uh, I get lots more money. I don't have to spend money on research. Uh, and I just build the science lab. So it's just walls and components. 
uh, which all of which should be uh, covered by the the, uh, the 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 money I get from the grant. Now, what I'm thinking of here as well, uh, I'm trying to think where to put it. Um, Actually, I might put put that down here, perhaps. Yeah, let's sort of keep it all in this sort of block here. Uh, you may notice, if you were with me last episode, I've actually increased the size of these small toilets up here. Uh, actually, I could. Depends where... It's going to be a little while before I start expanding the land. I might put the extra sort of sporty stuff out here uh, over on this side. So I can use this for building indoors facilities as it were like the science room i quite like the idea of having this as kind of basic classrooms along here yeah oh i don't have a i thought I'd, oh i must have been playing around off camera i must have been playing on i thought i had built <laughs> i thought i had built a staff or faculty lounge oh, okay i haven't right so let's get on with this uh let's go for um, actually one grant we can take uh, I did, while you were away I did add five more seats four more seats, whatever it was to the junior classroom so I can actually take that grant straight away except junior uh, transfer students uh, and I should have pretty much 16 or more seats in every room yep, we can do that, apply for that I've got that, that's good. I've now got 54 students. Uh, that's not what I want to click, is it? No, it isn't. But the, the good thing to see here is I'm now making a lot of money. Excellent, so it's plus 647 a day. I think this, yeah, this expenses column is still the same. That hasn't increased in cost yet, <laughs> right? No, the, the, what I was looking for here was the reports. That was it. So, yeah, we can see here I've got 16 pupils now in the juniors class. Uh, seats 18, that's splendid. Though the teaching bonus has been reduced because there's more pupils in the class. So, whereas the younger students get a, a, a teaching bonus by having a relatively small size class um, of 14, the larger classes for juniors and seniors as a slightly less teaching bonus. So we've done that. Let's actually build then our science lab. Uh, but let's take the grant first off. There you go. Scientific method. Lovely. Lots of new money. So where are we going to put this? Um, yeah, let's let's put it up here. I think we will do that. So we're going to need, I think, uh, some more brick walls. There we go. Uh, it's not object, it's build. That's it. Walls. We'll take some brick walls. And we'll move that up there. 11. Let's take it for 11 for now. It will probably go out beyond that. So we will build... This will be an internal wall is what I'm thinking. If I place that there, 12. The beige wall can go along here. That's good. And the science lab zone, I imagine it's going to, be, going to be another sort of 11 by 5 kind of recommendations. 11 by 5. And I've normally done... Uh, it's 11 by 8, isn't it? I normally do. Yeah, 11 by 8. So we'll make this zone. Oh, they do run around the track. I guess I remember in the last episode, I don't think I'd seen them running, but they do. Oh, they, they've even got... Oh, there's some really speedy people here. They're racing along. Cool. <laughs> um, yes, so let's build this zone. Science lab. Uh, uh, 11 by 8. Yep, that will do. Uh, we're going to need some more walls. Build beige walls. Oh, and ow. Oh, that's it. Right, that's, just want to check where the end of that zone was. Because it disappears once you start, once you get to build mode. So the wall was going up here. 
That's it. And the door, I think, will be placed in here. Uh, yep, let's place that there. Cool. So we're going to need objects for our science lab. Let's get the chalkboard. Oh, this is very... I uh, wish I could tell where that zone was. <laughs> right, so it's that first three trees. Okay. It's slightly annoying you can't see the zone there. Is there an option in the settings? Let me just check that, shall we? Um, graphics settings. Zone colours. Aha! Good! Obviously turned it off for a reason. <laughs> yeah, perhaps I shouldn't have done that. Uh, beige wall. Yeah, that is much more handy. Now I can see where things are. Cool, we'll build that there. That's our science lab. So the objects we want in science. We want a chalkboard. We'll put that there. Yep, there. Uh, a science cabinet. We'll put that um, along the side there. The periodic table can go there. A hand sanitizer can go there. And tables. Now these seat four people, don't they? So. We want it round that way. Let's have it round that way, I think. And there. So that's uh, 8 and 12. Put you in there. Actually, we'll put in quite a few tables, I think. And the question is, do the pupils want to stand at these desks or not? Now, microscope. Ah, okay, so it looks like the microscope is something they go up to and play with. Alright, so we'll place one there. Put two in there. Let's try that and see how that holds up. I'm, I'm curious that there's no seats in here. Right, so I've now got that money for the science room. So let's just pause this for a second. Let's see how this pans out, actually. Uh, but before I do that, let's get rid of all those um, bushes. We don't really want foliage in our classroom. Well, not like that. Right. Uh, let's get this moving a bit faster. Get our workers setting this all up. So I wonder how many students will go into the science lab. Oh, quite a few. They're going in there already. Oh, they're doing science standing up. That's splendid. And they're queuing up to use the microscope. This is really good. I'm not seeing a teacher in there, which is slightly worrying, <laughs> to be honest. But, ah. No, they're really engaging with the, with the subject here. This is excellent. Oh, there is a teacher. Good. Uh, Johnny Bayoun. Oh, I can, but you can't sort of click through uh, and just see what the teacher is, does, and so on. Uh, so, my department, Johnny Bayoun. Um, presumably your science. Yes, you are. And you are... Oh. Oh, no, this this is you here. Yes, you are. Oh, you're reasonably good at science. 31. That That's okay. Good. Um, now it does mean I do. I am actually missing research here. I'm not doing any research, so I really should start doing that. Um, now, the moment we spent a lot of time and energy researching classes, uh, different types of um, things we can teach us our students, uh, from libraries to sort of intellectual and 
subjects like uh, the liberal arts and experimentation and physical subjects like the, the track running and swimming pool basketball court now they're quite cheap and you do actually get a, a good grant I think for that I can do the swimming pool there is swimming laps two grand now my, my worry here is that the swimming pool might cost me money in water of course it could do but uh, we will need it eventually I'm not going to do it just yet I don't know why I put that wall there that looks wrong doesn't it now oh it's a waste of money never mind <laughs> just throwing money away willy-nilly honestly um, but what I'm thinking of doing actually for research for this first part of the day is looking at things that will help uh, in terms of running the school uh, now, worker priority is one, which means I can send them directly to um, specific areas to build stuff or to repair stuff, rather than waiting for them to get round to it, uh, as they do at the moment. Uh, do I need my teachers to go faster? I'm not sure. What would be, I'm thinking what might be nice here, is either worker priority, there's another one for janitors here which again allows them, me to send them out to clean things up specifically. Do I have any dirty rooms at the moment? Anything obviously unclean? I don't think I do actually. It's, everything looks quite neat. Oh, there's, the, there's our cat, Percy, just sitting around in the cafeteria. Not entirely sure how hygienic that is, but there you are. Um, yes, I don't appear to have an issue at the moment with, with cleanliness, so I think the janitor one we can leave for the moment. Uh, janitor routing again our school is quite small and compact I think I'm okay leaving that out so what I'll do is I'll go for the human resources which means when I come to buy come to buy when I come to hire new teachers um, I will get more choice but I'm feeling the find more button will cost me money to use but we've got to research something so let's let's do that I think uh, so in the to do um, Add more soft. Now, one thing I'm worrying about here is at the moment uh, I have two classes taking lunch break at the same time. So that's 32 people possibly. Uh, so, if the, if the, for example, the seniors and juniors, that's 16 apiece. Now, they do take lunch at different times. They're they're separated by an hour. Um, but if they both went, that's 32. Now, how many desks? How many seats rather do I have in the cafeteria? So I think that's, is that four? And actually, let's build one of those. Let's just check that. Cafeteria. Cafeteria bents. Oh, that's it's four. Oh, that's excellent. Right, so that's four. That's eight. That is 16 at the moment. Uh, so that's 16. That's 32 at the moment. One more bench might work. Where could I could I squeeze I couldn't really squeeze it in there, could I? No. <clears throat> squeeze one in down here perhaps. Should we try that? Let's let's try just do that anyway. Uh it's not it's objects not the cafeteria table. Like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, my room design is, isn't great. So let's... Actually, yes. What we could do, we could move these tables up. And we could move the food... Um, the, 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 what am I called? The, the counters here and the plate stack. And we could move that along this wall. That might make sense. Let's put this in here for now. I think. Yep. And the benches. That go, that didn't go in there, did it? There you go. See if that works. So that means I can now easily fit in as many students as I like in there, I think. Now, can I accept sophomore? Now I need to put another few chairs in here. The sophomore class. 
Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's definitely do that. In the classroom. So there's 12 seats in there at the moment. So we want another four. So if we put uh, one there, that, that's there. Oh. We'll make it like that. Oh, right. Uh, I've completed that research, so I can do faster teachers. I can do lots of other stuff. <laughs> so, right. What we'll do, we'll wait for those chairs to be built so that I can immediately have more sophomore students put in there. One thing I'm thinking of, though, is when the students started the day, um, we may see it at the end of the day. Uh, I don't think I paid attention to it while we were starting this episode. This common area became very busy. So I think it might actually be worth expanding this common room. Yeah, let's, let's do that, I think. Uh, again, I think what we might do is make this an external kind of wall. Along there. Like so. And... Uh, this will be an internal, I think. I, I'm saying all this, and I'm kind of working out what I might do in the future. I don't actually have a plan, so don't worry about that. I really am playing this by ear and winging it, I think you might say. Uh, and let's actually demolish those trees while we're here. There you go. I think we get five dollars for each of those. Uh, is my sophomore? Yeah, there's sixteen in there. Just double check that the numbers are right. Uh, yep, yeah, that looks good. So we can get another grant to accept more sophomore students. Lo oh, I like this. Look at that. I'm earning over a grand in profit every day. That's most excellent. I'm going to complain again about the fact that we can't move objects in this game. It'd be so nice to just pick that up and move it along the wall, which is what I want to do. Uh, but let's... Uh, food counter. That way around. I think... Yeah, these tables could be moved as well. That door there, I think, is unnecessary. I'm not quite sure what I was thinking of having a door there. Oh, that was that the... No, I'm not sure what that was. Let's get rid of that. Can I just put a wall there instead? Looks like I can. That'd be cool. Oh, and these guys are trapped now. <laughs> okay, let's de demolish that wall. And you can get out. That, that's kind of good. I, there are some games, and I think Sim Airport is one of them. I'm not sure if another brick in the mall does the same thing. Um, where your your staff, your workers, your builders, can actually move through walls. <laughs> Don't get trapped like they do in this game. Which is kind of fun, I suppose. Uh, we're looking here for a common room. Common area, yeah. So let's extend this up to... Do I need to wait till that wall's taken down? Let's do that, just in case. Actually, let's test that out. Does it include that? It does. Splendid. Right, let's build some more... On the table. Uh, all confessing their love. I'm ignoring my students for the moment, because I'm paying more attention to... To getting stuff done. There, there, there. there we go. Lots of seats. Okay, that's splendid. Because all 59 pupils will turn up at one time at the start of the day, and indeed at the end of the day. As you can see, this is getting quite busy now. That's fine. Uh, just check on the reports. Yep, the, yeah, I. All the students are in their correct classrooms. That's that's excellent. Right, oh, we've run out of research again. So what shall we research next? Actually, before we do that, let's look at our grant. Is there a good grant? We could do transfer students. Yeah. Um, placing things. Mm, yeah. 
full faculties, a faculty lounge. I think it might be time to actually start paying attention to staff facilities. Um, sustainable electricity. The sustainable electricity will allow me to save costs on electricity, I think. I think. If we do the research for the solar panel, what does solar panel give me? Where would that come? Where does solar panel? Um, electricity. Uh, oh, it's all the way down there. Yeah, and see, these things cost a lot of money to research. The outlet store, nine grand. Uh, but that reduces the cost of everything I buy, which is nice. Very nice. And then these rationing ones will save 20% on my water or ele electricity costs. They do cost a fair chunk of money to start with. So I'm thinking I'll leave those for the moment until I've got a much, until a somewhat, a somewhat healthier bank balance. I mean, I can't afford this one anyway to start with, so we're kind of stuck. Um, I, I'm thinking janitor routing will do that. So I want to get to faster and so on, better better janitors. Uh, though we'll probably also want this one as well, priority and microfiber mops. So that makes their cleaning faster. But again, our school isn't that big. So I'm not too worried about um, having more and more, more, more organized janitors and workers roaming around the place. Uh, swimming laps, that's the pool. Oh, that must require more research, which I've just started. <laughs> nope, don't do that. Um, employee welfare. I, I'll let. We'll do the more. We'll do freshman students as well, actually. So, let's actually add more seats to our freshman classroom. And then I've got as many pupils as I can get. I think at this stage of the game. Uh, that's the wrong chair. Don't put that one in there. This is a classroom. There we go. Is that sort of no, it's classroom? Click it. That's it. Pretend you know what you're doing. Right. Uh, so we'll put you in the wrong way round. That's better. Put you in there. Why is that person? Oh, it's a detention room. Oh, someone must have been. Is that a smoke? Is that person a smoker? Let, I'll just catch up with him in a moment. Uh, so that's 12, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right. So once our workers have done that, we'll get more freshmen in, which should again give me a boost to my uh, my income. So this uh, person here. Alton Mashiro. Al 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 okay. Why can I? Uh, you're too close to that other person. <laughs> oh, forgot you. Um, oh dear, got a bladder issue. Bowel. Oh, should be sit going to the toilet. I uh, can't hold. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, they they've got issues with their. <laughs> with their personal hygiene. Yes. Perhaps I need to put more toilets in. Let's actually have a look at... Is, this tells me all students. Generally speaking, it looks like I'm I'm doing okay with the, with the toilet provision. Yeah, it's obviously just some particular students have an issue. That, that looks okay, I think. Right, the workmen have done that, so I can now apply for the grant for more freshman students. Done it. Lovely. Two grand profit every day. I'm feeling good. Oh, yes. And whatever you do, don't sing. Yeah, not a skill I have. Uh, swimming laps. Sustainable. The swimming laps, I think, will be the quickest one to get because the research is right up upon us 
Uh, I, I, we can probably actually put more facilities in here, can't we now? In these toilets. Uh, where's, where's the toilets? They're down here under T. Or I could do the search, but I'm here already. The cubicle. $33 a day. Wow. Just put one in each then, I think. And the hand sanitizer is 13. The sink is 33. I'm thinking the hand sanitizer is a better, better option. <laughs> yes, most definitely. Oh, I've missed some flooring out. That's the bathroom tile. We can go in there. Uh, I still have rooms without f proper flooring. Um, okay, what about the library? Put something in there. Some nice... Don't want wooden teal. Yeah, you don't want a wooden floor in a library, do you? That, that's just not on. Well, that would cost me 1400 Yeah, let's do that. That's, I'm okay with that. Okay. That was that was silly. That 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 bit there was very silly. Um, if I'd had the yeah, if I if I'd had the zone display on, I wouldn't have made that uh, that mistake. I think. Well, I would have made a different mistake. <laughs> it would be better to said. Okay, so we've finished our janitorial research. So I think swimming the laps one was here. That's only a thousand. I can afford that. So we'll spend a thousand to research swimming and then we'll take out the grant because I'm doing that. Uh, swimming lamp, lamps, lamps, no laps. That's two grand. Excellent. Right, so that is where we'll come to in the next episode, I think. This is really good. OK, so what we've got so far in this episode, we have a new science lab. We have increased our prestige quite nicely, actually. To th it started at 295. I didn't point it out earlier, to be honest, so if you missed it, uh, my apologies. But trust me, it was 295 when we started uh, this uh, yesterday. It's, it's tomorrow now already. That's gone up to 320. And my income has dropped. Oh, that must be the hand sanitizer has gone down. Yeah. OK, let's, let's get the day running. So we are waiting to do our swimming pool. We've got the research to do first before we can build that. And the question here is, of course, is this going to be an indoor swimming pool or an outdoor one? Hmm. Now, when I was at school, we had outdoor swimming pools. So I'm thinking that might be where we put it, I think. We could do some more flooring. I, I, I do like to see... Well, I haven't built... I haven't put the floor down. The carpet, oh, that needs fixing. Let's repair that. Well, I dare say the worker would have found it anyway in due course. But uh, if we can hurry them along, we can do that. Actually, actually, just thinking about that, do they find things that need repair immediately, or when they get round to it or close to it, or do you actually actually have to point out it needs repairing and then they will go and fix it if it's on their rounds kind of thing. Uh, now this I think is where the priority issue, the research would come in handy. Because at the moment my workers are not going to spend time flooring the library, whereas I want this toilet to be repaired. Um, so perhaps it is time to look at worker priority. Which was down here. It's only a thousand, it'll take two hours. And they'll have probably completed the building after the laying of that floor by the time that's uh, that research is completed right so uh what we've got to do next is build the swimming pool now does that um is there a build is there a swimming pool zone oh there is okay um it doesn't say indoors, which it does for things like the library. Yeah, it says indoors there, you see. So this will be... Oh, it's for juniors only. Ah, okay. Oh, the running track is sophomores, and the field is for everybody. Oh, ah. So 
The running track is sophomores. The junior to the swimming pool. So, who plays basketball? Hmm. Okay. Uh, right, so we will come to that in the next episode. We have, I think, done quite well today. We have established a profitable school. Uh, that's gone down again. The carpet doesn't cost money, surely. Um, hmm. Something else is going up in cost, <laughs> I'm sure. All right, more love being confessed, but that's what happens when you send people to school, I suppose. I'm not going to worry about that. But what I... Oh, no, we put more hand sanitizers in, didn't we? That's what it was, of course. So we need to... Do, not selling the wall. We'll click to repair that. Oh, they... They have repair. No, right. I'm wrapping this episode. Wrapping this episode up. So let's stop getting distracted and get on with it. Uh, yes. Yeah, so thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Academia School Simulator. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A simple like would be wonderful. Just click the old thumbs up button. Even better though, would be if you've got anything to say, a comment. Recommendation, suggestion, ideas, criticisms even, anything at all, just drop it into the comments box below. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do that. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Academia School Simulator, until the next time, bye bye for now.